now to the fight against Ebola. West Africa was ground zero for the world's biggest Ebola outbreak, and now it could be the place where a vaccine is proven successful. CCTV's Jim Spellman is here with more on the groundbreaking results coming out of Guinea. Jim. Yeah, it's really incredible. Look, over 11,000 people have died in this Ebola outbreak that started last year. Researchers hope that if, that if this vaccine continues to prove effective, it could potentially save thousands of lives. World Health Organization experts are calling it a potential game changer, a vaccine for Ebola that has a 100% success rate in small-scale trials. We believe that the world is on the, the verge of an efficacious Ebola vaccine. As thousands were dying from Ebola across West Africa, doctors in Guinea used a unique research model. They offered the experimental vaccine, manufactured by Merck, to most adults who came into contact with an Ebola patient and were willing to try the drug. Some were afraid the drug might kill them, others were willing to take a risk. About half of these contacts received the vaccine. The data so far shows that none of the 2014 persons vaccinated developed Ebola virus disease after 10 days after vaccination. Researchers developed the vaccine by combining the Ebola virus with another safer virus to boost the immune system. Of the roughly 2,000 who didn't take the vaccine, 16 contracted Ebola. The trials will now expand to include children and pregnant women. So we hope that by continuing the trial with this modification, with doing all the vaccination immediately and also including younger people, we will be able to assist the Ebola response team bringing Ebola transmission to zero in Guinea. Researchers hope to expand the vaccinations beyond Guinea to other West African countries. If the vaccine continues to prove effective, it could be especially valuable for frontline healthcare workers who face extremely high risk of infection while treating these sick and very contagious Ebola patients, Elaine. And Jim, there have been other vaccines being tested around the same time. What happens to all of those trials? Yeah, there was a, a vaccine manufactured by GlaxoSmithKline and one manufactured by Johnson & Johnson. They were in clinical trials as well. It looks like those tests are pretty much over. They're simply running out of Ebola patients to use in trials, which, given how big the outbreak was, is not a bad problem to have. All right, Jim Spellman, thanks for that update.